Hi, what's up guys? This is Majid Noor. Today I got my uh, brand new OnePlus 5 from China. And uh, when you think about an affordable flagship phone, the OnePlus comes to mind. Uh, a great brand with uh, well-made phones and great support in updates. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't find uh, this phone easily in Iran. In order to purchase it, we have to find some special people uh, who can buy it from China. And uh, that way, it takes around 10 to 20 or 30 days. And uh, I appreciate Soha Trade Group uh, for purchasing this phone for me. Okay, let's unbox it. Thank you. Okay, let's do the unboxing. Very excited to see the phone. Uh, it is uh, 64 GB with 6 gigs of uh, gigabytes of RAM. Dual camera, clearer photo. The box is very simple. It exactly looks the box of OnePlus 3T. Just the number 3 and number 5 are the differences. But there's a sentence here I like it very much. Created together with our fans, OnePlus.cn. Okay, let's unbox it. Very great packing. Okay, I let the gravity to do its job. I think I must help. Oh, nice looking phone. Great design. Wow, the camera dual. Okay, I put the phone aside to see what's inside the box. Uh, some pamphlets. Let's see what's there exactly. Uh, the SIM injector. Some pamphlets from OnePlus, some manuals. Nothing special. A great photo. I think this is the leather from the seal and uh, it's written that this photo has been taken with OnePlus 5. Nice shot. Uh, we have the dash charge, uh, same as the one we had for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. Uh, we have the red cable, very great and thick. And uh, there's nothing else. No headphone. Let's go to the phone. Uh, let me peel off these sticks. The back is very simple and the design looks a bit iPhone-ish. But I myself personally, I don't care about the back because uh, most of the times I don't look at the back of the phone, I see the front part. Uh, let's, what, let's see what we have. On the top there is nothing. On the bottom, uh, we have, thank God that we have a headphone jack, a USB Type-C, and uh, the speaker. On the left, we have uh, the SIM tray and power button. And on the right, we have the volume rocker and the uh, uh, mute switch. In the front, uh, we have a 16 megapixel camera. Uh, it uses Sony sensor. Uh, on the bottom, we have the capacitive home key. And let me turn on the phone. I hope it has enough battery to turn on. Yes. Right. And the display is uh, exactly similar to the one they had used in OnePlus 
uh, 3T. Oh, the wrong is hydrogen, unfortunately. Okay, I will insert the scene later. And on the back, the first eye-catching part is the dual camera. We have two dual cameras. One, uh, it uses a 16 megapixel, and the secondary camera uses a Sony 20 megapixel. We have the microphone and dual LED flash. And we have the uh, logo of OnePlus. It's not exactly in the middle, but we've got it there. Okay, I'll come back to you after uh, running the phone. Or maybe I can run in the phone now. Skip anyway, I agree. Skip, skip anyway. Okay. This is how the OnePlus looks. Nice. I love it, this phone. Very smooth. Very smooth. Okay, well, if I want to compare it with OnePlus 3T, everything is the same. Let me. Both of them are very slippery. It's very difficult to hold and keep them in hand. Uh, but I think the design in uh, OnePlus 5, the corners are. A bit rounded. Okay, this is 